everyone! So, as you can tell from the title of this video, it has been five years since I started this channel. I uploaded my very first video on March 23rd, 2012. What probably most, if not all of you, don't know is that I actually tried making a channel like this back in around 2009. And that was in college when I did not have a camera that filmed in a video format that worked with the free video editing software that I had on my laptop. So I tried some free online thing that made a terrible quality video, but I uploaded it anyways on some old channel I don't even have anymore. And that was the only one I ever made. <laughs> but also during college, I took a math class and this was at an art school so one of the units was completely dedicated to learning how to solve a Rubik's Cube. And some of you can probably already guess where my YouTube watching history went from there. But I found Dan Brown and his how to solve a Rubik's Cube video and started watching his videos and then through him I found out about the Vlogbrothers and the Five Awesome Girls and from there I started watching Miss X Rojas and Books and Quills and Al Say Hoot and eventually The Readables and Words of a Reader and decided that that was something I could do. And I did and now in five years time here we are. After the first few years of making videos on this channel, I got up to about 7,500 subscribers, which was pretty cool. And then I started working full time. And the videos dropped off to once a month, once every two months. And I stopped really gaining any subscribers for a long time. And now I've started making videos again about once every week or every couple weeks and my subscriber count has been going down each time I upload a video which I totally understand because I have unsubscribed from lots of people either if I don't like their taste in books anymore or their style of making videos or I found other cool new people and don't have time to watch everybody so I totally understand why it's happening and I think it's so awesome that there are so many new booktubers out there making excellent videos and that people are making their own little groups and communities here on booktube. I think it's one of the coolest things about booktube is that it's just this little part of YouTube that is kind and friendly for the most part. It has its own drama but if you don't want to participate, you don't have to, and you're left with just kind, engaged comments, which is very different from the general YouTube experience. And I also love finding out about new books and listening to new voices talking about books I've never heard about, and especially being encouraged to read more diversely, and through that, being rewarded by finding books with richer storytelling and more meaningful experiences. Now that I am not working full time, I have more time to watch new booktubers and start being more actively engaged with other people's videos and leaving comments because the way that I use YouTube, it's not really conducive to leaving comments and that's because I add all of my subscriptions to my watch later list which automatically plays the next video and it's really annoying that it forces you to do that now. So I have been trying to be better at leaving a comment on most of the videos that I watch as well as finding new people to subscribe to. So in honor of the five years I have spent on YouTube making videos about books, I want to highlight a few people that I have recently subscribed to, and while they may not be newbies anymore, they're new to me and they have less followers than they deserve. 
and these aren't in any particular order except the order that I came across them in my subscription list. So the first one is Perpetual Pages and Adriana makes a lot of videos about sci-fi and fantasy books and is very passionate when talking about books. And this channel is a great place to go to find great recommendations. Next is Valerie of Valor Reads and she has very lovely videos. Her background is just kind of a simplified bookshelf thing. The books that she talks about are all really interesting and she is very adorable. Next is Brie Hill and I think I found her through Chapter Stacks and as Katie at Chapter Stacks says, Brie has a lot of books to talk about that I have never even heard of. I think her entire 2016 favorites list were books that I had never heard of. So her channel is a great place to find out about new books. And lastly is The Poptimist. He's been mentioned all over the place lately and he deserves it. His videos are very fun with lots of reaction gifs or gifs, but in a very classy way. And his reviews are very thought out, both on YouTube and on Goodreads. So here's celebrating the last five years and looking forward to what's coming in the next five years. If you guys have been around for all five years, thank you. And that's amazing. And if you're new, that is also wonderful and thank you for watching my channel. If you have any other booktubers that you think deserve a shout out, feel free to leave their channel name in the comments and I'll see you later. Bye!